Welcome, everybody. Today's a very important day. Now, you may be wondering, Valkyrian, what's so important today? Well, it's September 19th, the four-year anniversary of the channel. Me and the original founders, Valk, S, J, Roxy, and Shadowbot, made this back in 2019. We had no idea how to do something like this. Now we've blossomed into a thriving gaming channel with a sizable community. Although things have changed, like our content, people have come and gone, like S and J, we're still just as funny and real as we always were. I want to give a brief history lesson on the Outsiders and Friends. It started back in September of 2019. I finally decided to shut down my old channel, known as Valkyrian777, in favor of a proper multi-gamer YouTube channel. I dabbled with the idea of multiple people in a video, but it was never the main thing. It was just me and my amateurly recorded playthroughs. On that day of September 19th, I decided to message a couple of my buddies for a crazy idea I had. We got together and agreed on making a collab channel together. I tossed around many, many names, none of which were any good. Basically just THE followed by a descriptive word. Wow, how creative. <laughs> We agreed to just call it Project X for the time being. Shortly after, we made some videos to get our foot in the door. I was still trying to come up with a proper name, and I remembered S.E. Hinton's book, The Outsiders. I read the book and watched the movie in middle school. I fell in love with it. A bunch of unwanted nobodies finding comfort in one another. That was my Eureka moment. I pitched it to my buddies and they loved it. The rest is history, mostly documented in our videos. Over time, I've gotten the more bizarre and interesting situations and accumulate the friend groups I have now. Because of that, our sub count continued to grow. 130, 140, 180, 200, so on and so forth. Cut to modern day, and we have about 320 subscribers. As a thank you to everybody watching this, the viewers and the members, I've been working on something special over the course of a month, and here it is. Welcome to the official Outsiders and Friends Tribute World. Fuck yeah! What? Woo! And here I'm accompanied by my friend Roxy. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm finally on an episode! <laughs> You're finally in a video after like two years! Woo! Oh shit. Bro, I'm dead. Guys, he's ascending the heaven. Nah, I'm going to hell. If you don't subscribe, he's gonna. As I'm going to hell. I'm going if to you hell. don't, if you don't subscribe, he's gonna go to hell. Oh shit! Now I'm in hell. No! Ah! Oh, I'm just kidding. Guys, if you don't subscribe, he's gonna fucking. I don't know. He's gonna go to hell. Make sure you subscribe, or we're gonna fucking burst in the flames. So, as you can see here, the staircase and the platform here, and by extension that platform too, is based off of the old PS3 Minecraft Tutorial World TU14. Uh, I'm gonna put a picture of it up on screen, and hopefully I got it right. Otherwise, yeah, this voiceover is kind of fucked. Anyways, <laughs> here's a temple here. Me and Skullstorm built. This is Skullstorm statue. Um, and we based it off of the Star Wars The Old Republic, uh, Sith Temple from Drum and Koss. I know it doesn't look exactly the same, we kind of fucked up the arch when we built it, and just kind of went with it, but that's what it's based off of, and we had a lot of fun with it. And we went, 
Like, you know what? Well, we kind of fucked it up anyways. Why don't you just do our own thing with it? So I put trees at the top and vines and all this plant matter stuff. And I just think it looks really, really cool. I had so much fun building it. It was awesome. And same with the statues. I built all the statues here. Well, except for this one. Roxy completely redid his. I have an older version of it uh, on an earlier copy of the world. I can show it up on screen here. And it looks vastly different. The earlier version was based off of his SMP counterpart version, which was... Which I am, which is on what's this game right now. But me and him decided we'll replace it with this one and keep uh, this cringy one that I built, which is based off of his old version of his OC. I hate it so much. Yeah, it's fucking ugly. It's ugly as fuck. Look, I agree too, man, that it's ugly, but it's like, it's it's part of history, you know, so I thought might as well preserve it. I hate it so much. Why? why? That's, that's why we can do this. Fuck you, statue, eat shit. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Scared him up, Nana! Oh, oh god! Your own blood grown dead! And now it's dead! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> bye bye, statue! Statue oh, is no more! Be careful! Be careful! Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be Scared him up, Nana! Oh god! They're oh no! Now Eating it's your dead! Legs. Eating your legs! <laughs> <laughs> You're in the <laughs> uh, how the hell was I like unscathed? That's amazing. No, 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 no! I had to. You, you, you had hit me. <laughs> oh my god! But yeah, f fuck that ugly, cringy statue. I just did it for historical sake. But no, that thing's ugly. I tried my best. I really did. But with his his old OC changing so much and like. Blocks not really being the right colors. Whatever, I did my fucking best. <laughs> well, now of course it's now solid. And it's like it's quite it's it's not changed. This is me as uh, you know my old Valkyrian OC that I used for my old channel. Here's a picture of it here, um, and I I did my best recreating it. Uh, had some trouble with the head, but you know did my best. I think I did a good job. Here are three tributes for former founders that aren't with us no more. They're not dead, they're just not part of the channel. <laughs> oh god, why is they dead? Uh, this is for Shadowbot. A former founder removed for unknown reasons. There was some stupid drama that happened or something. He said something or whatever, and he's not part of the channel no more. But we are planning on bringing him back, so fuck yeah. And I built a DJ booth for him, because he does music, so... And then here is the mysterious J. Former founder that left the group on neutral terms. So, Jay was a good friend of me and Roxy, and unfortunately, there was a, another member named S, who was a big part of the channel, who decided to join up with the Toxic Friend group and had a manipulative boyfriend who liked to do things with children. That's that's all I'm going to say. And, uh, and basically, he's not part of the channel no more. Uh, his boyfriend can go rot in hell. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, Jay left on neutral terms and decided, you know what? I'm gonna step away. I'm not gonna be the middleman no more, and I'm going to do my own thing. You know, I'm not mad at you guys, but I'm not happy with how it was handled, so I'm just gonna step back and move on. And that's fine. I, I appreciate that he decided, you know what? I'm gonna step away, and I'm gonna be the bigger man. I'm not going to be part of this no more. And instead of, you know, oh, fuck you, and, oh, this and that, and oh, I'm going to cause drama about you and all that shit. Like, he didn't do any of that, so thank God. On the other hand, S did the complete opposite. That's why his is a burning pile of rubble and a giant pile of ash. Because he is in no way coming back to the channel. Fuck that guy. He ruined everything. I can't even watch videos with him anymore without thinking about the fucking bullshit that he's done and his piece of shit boyfriend. But yeah, no, he's not part of the channel no more, and uh, that's that. That's really all I have to say. If you really want to find out, I have drama videos that touches upon it because I was in a bad mood, and I used J and S as an example of what not to do. So, it is what it is, and... You know, we have to move on from that fact. So let's talk about the uh, the other members here, the current lineup of creators on the channel. So, of course, first and foremost, we have me, which is 
Beowulf. I'm the channel's editor, uh, director, I guess. Like, I'm the one who makes videos and kind of plans out how they're going to be and everything. I'm like the the big boss man, I guess, out of the big bosses. It, no, we don't have we don't we never we don't we never have a script, so we actually don't know what's. No, we never use scripts. We just kind of wing it and go, yeah, that looks good. And then poor old editor me has to figure out how to piece everything together. So it is what it is. Now, although I did call myself the big boss man, I I don't treat myself like the big boss of, like, a company or something like, oh, you can't do this or I'm gonna kick you out of the fucking channel or something, like, at least I try not to. I don't want to be that kind of guy, but, uh, like, I am the owner, but I'm not the one who makes the ultimate decision. I'm not the one who's like, okay, we're gonna do it this way, and if you don't like it, tough shit. I talk to Roxy and Doom about a lot of things sometimes. I talk to the members a lot of times. I want to make sure that when we're making videos, everyone um, understands what we're doing, and they like, to, they like the game, and, you know, this is how we're going to do it. So, Because if they want to do it a different way, by all means, tell me. There's been plenty of times where even my brother made a, uh, a suggestion. It was better than whatever stupid thing I thought of. So, you know, my thing's not the end-all be-all. It's, it's a collaborative effort. That's why we're called the Outsiders and Friends, not the Outsider and his buddies. <laughs> this is this is Roxy, you know the the guy that's in the video. It's me, and uh, he's a cool guy. He's been around since like fucking day one. Roxy's been here since day one, and he's been a big help with the channel. I love some of the contributions he's given to the channel. Like, during the early years of the channel, here, I'm going to put a picture up. He's made art for the channel, so, like, the banner and stuff was art by him. So, he, he's contributed to that, and he's also made a couple thumbnails, and he's been in a couple videos. So, although he hasn't contributed as much to S&J, he's still a big part of the channel, and if he weren't around, the channel wouldn't be the way it is now. So... He's a very important part of the community. And mostly because of why I'm, I'm not been on there like every single video is because like, I, again, I have school now, but I'm going to a career center now that has more, more freedom. So hopefully I'll be in more um, videos. Here is my friend Vri. He is, uh, one of the youngest of the group, but he's also, I would say, one of the most hilarious. He's called Vri at me for a reason. He's the Re kid of the group. Like, literally. Re when I met him in, in GTA 5 online, I was at, I want to say La Mesa, and I was at the Los Santos Customs there, going up the ramp to a car I had, and I was going to customize it, and I see this dude beating on my car with a baseball bat going, dirt, 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 and I'm like, the fuck are you doing, man? He's like, I don't know, it seems like fun! And I'm like, okay, sounds about right. I mean, I used to do the same thing. Hey, you want to hop in my car? Yeah, sure. I don't know why I gave him a crappy Mickey Mouse voice. It's the Mickey Mouse! It's the Mickey Mouse! Crack house! You want so we Don't go fuck yourself! But yeah, me and him have known each other ever since, and I met him when he was like 10 or 11, but I didn't realize that. I thought he was just some, like, pubescent teen still going through puberty, and I'm like, whatever. I've met other people like that. That's nothing new. So I hung out with him, and yeah, we would hang out for years and years, and then he he told me, uh, like, a couple years ago, and I'm like, are you fucking serious? I didn't know that. So yeah, interesting history with him, and he's, like, one of my favorite memories. He's a really, really nice guy and really nice to hang out with. He reminds me of my brother, which is the next person we're actually going to talk about. He doesn't have a channel yet, but... He is a big part of the channel, because he used to be on my old channel, and then on a collab channel me and him had, and now on The Outsiders. And he's just a fucking nutball. He's the same as me, but like a bite-sized version. <laughs> he's like the he's like the tinier version of me, like a mini-me. <laughs> and he's funny. He's He's good at commentary and being funny and stuff. He just has to get used to it, and I'm sure... He'll be good at doing YouTube once the time comes and he's ready to do that, because he's still got a lot of school stuff to deal with, so he's not ready for doing that. But I'll be his editor when that time comes, and I'll try and help him out with video stuff, and uh, hopefully things go well, because I'd love to see him shine and see how he does YouTube. This is my buddy Weedab, also known as Dusk Salem, and he has his own YouTube channel. I will make sure to link everybody's YouTube or socials or whatever in the description, whatever they choose. And I'm also his editor. Like, I've done at least three videos for him so far, and hopefully more in the future. 
And, um, yeah, this is his character, Dusk Salem, which is a, like, cartoony mob boss kind of dude. But he's a cool guy, known him for years, dated him for several years, wonderful guy, not the best with videos, but he's getting there. And I'm teaching him the ropes as to, like, how to do videos. So, well, he's, I think, the least experienced. He definitely has potential. He just needs to learn how to uh, communicate that in the words and video format. Right, right. He, he's, a, he, he's amazing. They're amazing. Yeah, they're all amazing. Okay, in the comment section, say what this thing looks like, please. We need to see if anyone else agrees with us. Me and Roxy Loki think it looks like a like a. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Don't, don't tell him. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. I want to see what the comments say. So this is my friend Doom. Um, I actually based his skin off of his GTA character. I'm gonna put a picture up for you. He was the new co-owner of the channel after J and S decided to skedaddle the fuck out of the channel, and Shadowbot just kind of went peace and just disappeared like that one meme. <laughs> Over, overlay it, overlay it. Doom decided to take his place, albeit kind of by accident. Doom commented on a video of mine, and I was like, hey, dude, you seem pretty cool. You want to join my Discord? And he's like, yeah, sure, man. And so when I met him, he was this, like, Christian boy stuck in his parents' house who is apparently never allowed to socialize on the internet because his parents were super strict. And now he's some crackhead nut job who loves drinking beer and smoking weed and, like, fucking around in GTA. He, he's changed a lot since he met me. And, like, he's a, he's a wonderful guy, and I wouldn't have it any other way. As much as I miss S and J, I wouldn't have it any other way, because if they were still here, I probably wouldn't have had Doom as a co-owner. And although, from a business standpoint, having a fucking viewer as someone who runs the channel is, like, the stupidest fucking thing you could do, that's like taking Joe Schmo off the road and going, hey, you want to run my billion-dollar corporation? Like, why the fuck would you do that? I mean, I mean, Valve did exactly the thing for its actors. They just, they just had random people just come off the streets and be bombs. So you kind of get my point. It's like, if it works, it really works. But if it doesn't, what the fuck are you doing? So I, I went on a limb, and it worked out big time. So, fuck yeah. This is my buddy Neil Heim. One of the newer members of the group. He's only been in, like, one or two videos. He's a fucking television. He's a cool kid. Cool Asian guy. Really funny. Always jokes about common farts and shit and stuff, because, I don't know, it's funny, honestly. <laughs> uh, and him and Ree have this fun back-to-back kind of thing where Ree makes a joke, then Neo does, and then they both joke around and shit, and me and Doom hop in, and we all fuck about in GTA. Unfortunately... I don't play GTA anymore for personal reasons that I don't want to talk about, but that's how I met him was from my old GTA group called the Pink Tank Legion. Now, this has never been talked about on the channel, and for good reason, because it was going to be part of the channel when it was ready, but unfortunately, it never did get ready, and ultimately, it shut down because of personal reasons, and that's that. I stopped playing GTA, it shut down. And whoever decided to stay, stayed. And Neoheim was one of them. And he's a cool motherfucker. All you guys are cool motherfuckers. Thank you, man. This guy right here, the hooded... We have the Grim Reaper. Is that the Grim Reaper? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's my friend Shade Hart. Wonderful guy. Real cool guy. He's got glasses and long hair like me. And um, I actually met him through VR Chat Minecraft, of all things. So that was cool. I played on this thing, I think it was called Udon Minecraft, and I was like, yeah, sure, let's play fucking VR Chat Minecraft, I'm bored. And I was just walking around like, la 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 la, I'm gonna go build an obsidian penis. And I saw some dude screwing around and talking with someone else, and I'm like, hey, can I join? And he was like, yeah, sure. So I was just chatting with them, and he seemed like a nice person, and I was like, hey, you know, how you doing? <laughs> And he was like, yeah, you know, I'm just playing Minecraft, I'm bored. And I'm like, hey, you want to hang out with me? He was like, yeah, sure. And the uh, rest is history. It's not really that convoluted. It's just, yeah, we met each other in Minecraft, in VR chat, and we hung out. And then we watched anime together in one of those, uh, one of those, like, theater worlds in VR chat. And we just kind of went from there. We, we learned we both liked anime, and we both liked Minecraft, and, you know. They have, they have every single friendship of Minecraft. Starts with a penis. Yes. Every single one. 
Yes. Whether you're gay, straight, lesbian, trans, it all starts with the penis. That sounds really weird out of context. <laughs> context alert. Oh. Context alert. Wee, wee, wee. <laughs> this is my buddy CJ. Wonderful guy. Big train enthusiast. If you ever want to talk about trains, he's your guy. Cool motherfucker. I met him through another friend of mine named Sonny. Wonderful person. CJ's a wonderful guy. Great guy. Not much of a talker, but if you talk about trains, he is like on fucking board. He's like, so the, this train is from so-and-so and blah, 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 blah. And the history about it is blah, 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 blah. And it's honestly really interesting. He's a cool guy, and I'd love to have him in more videos. CJ here and VDAB are both big, big fans of Star Wars, and I am, to a lesser extent. We would all play Star Wars The Old Republic. That's how we got the temple here, and that's how we're going to segue to, last but not least, <laughs> Skullstorm! Skullstorm is the Aussie nut job who just reached 1,000 followers on Twitch. Go show him some love. He's a cool motherfucker, and I can't wait to see him get popular, because he is a, he is fucking awesome. Life decided to give him the fucking shit end of the stick. If he were playing poker, he had a fucking Magic the Gathering card, a Yu-Gi-Oh card, and a fucking business card for his hand, and he somehow still made that work. Like, life did not like him, but he decided... Fuck you, man! I'm gonna I'm gonna stream on Twitch and be a big Twitch streamer, and he's got a thousand followers now, and it's it's fucking awesome. I love that guy. Oh, also, in that card game, he just pulls a random Uno reverse card, just randomly out of nowhere. Yeah, I summon fucking Yu-Gi-Oh card in attack mode. Uno reverse card. Dude, we're playing poker. I don't care. I summon Blue Eyes White Dragon and five dollars to summon Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. And then I'll place down Pot of Greed. I summon Pot of Greed and sacrifice my Pot of Greed to summon another Pot of Greed. And he's like, dude, that's not <laughs> how that works for playing poker. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, I think my brain's melting from the fact that my air conditioner ain't on. Oh my god, I, this this recording is something else, man. So here's the inside of the temple. It's completely custom. We didn't know what to do with this. I'm like, alright, let's build some pillars, build a lava fountain, because it's cool. And uh, I built a library. I based this off of the Stronghold libraries, and I just went, you know, it's too small. Why don't I make it bigger and like more elaborate, like how they build it nowadays? So I put candles. Should we, should we leave it alone? Should we, should, we leave, should we leave it alone? Nah, let's make it bigger. Yeah. So I put like trap doors and the chiseled bookshelves and like candles and all this shit. I tried adding a chandelier. Didn't look right, so I didn't bother. Um, me and my brother decorated the rooms here. It was mainly my brother. I added things like carpet and moved a couple things around, but he's the main decorator dude. He he was genuinely really good at that, because I didn't know what to put here, and he was like, oh, I don't need to add some brewing stands and a little skull here. He, was some... he loves Minecraft almost as much as I do. I see him play Minecraft like almost all the time, and it, it brings a tear to my eye, because I love Minecraft. I'm passing on my legacy to my younger brother is awesome. And I got put the cool skull painting here, and he put all this other stuff here, and I had the suggestion for this cool, like, arch dome kind of enchanted thingy, and he was like, yeah, sure. Let's do that. We figured it out. We did a good job. I, I really like it. And, uh, down here we have more rooms. We have, uh, beds here that I decorated. These beds are actually the like, really old design like, bed type that I made when we used to have the L-shaped villager houses, and I would, uh... The L-shaped part that stuck out, I would fit these into there. And then you'd have this, like, nice little, like, nook on the side, and you could hop in your bed and chill and be like... Me, 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 you know? It was nice. <laughs> yeah. I missed those houses. They had a lot of space, and they were just... They were nostalgic, you know? And the, all the rooms are about the same. Carpet's a little different. Painting's different. And flower and stuff. But yeah. I just wanted to make it kind of like how Strongholds were, where they have these different rooms and shit. Make it all fancy and all pretty. I, I claim this room. There you go. This one's pretty. It's got nice pink and purple, and it's got the cool skull painting. It's got blue. It's got blue. It's got purple. It's got pink. Oh, yeah. We got purple. We got pink. We got green. We got red. We got all the colors of the rainbow. All yours for only four ninety nine, and it's half off if you're gay. <laughs> Yo, he really said it's half off if you're gay. This, this dude, what the fuck? 
Secret area! There's a secret area over here. So here is secret lever, not so secret. Opens a uh, flush piston door down here. Where you can go down and... Uh... This is also based off of the tutorial area. I literally copy-pasted the old area and recreated it. This is what it looks like. I made it all nice and pretty with grass and stuff. Now we must have a... Uh... Yeah, you must have a moment of silence for our sniffer pet. Unfortunately, I did have a pet sniffer. His name was Jeremy. And he unfortunately passed away. Um, somehow. And I don't know how. So let's bring up a picture of him with a memorial in memory of. Rest in peace, Jeremy. I'm sorry for not being there in your final moments. I hope you get to enjoy that giant field in the sky. Sniffing as much as you please. And now let's show off some of the cooler stuff. As if that wasn't cool enough. Look! It's the coolest thing in the whole world! A bridge! No, I'm just kidding. Oh my god, it's a bridge! Here's the last thing we actually added into the world. This cool little ruin thing that Roxy added. But here is the lever. You flick it. And boom! There's a secret. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. And it's a sarcophagus. And you got some hieroglyphics and some scribble scrabble that I don't understand. Translate them. I dare you. Here, I'll just sit here for a couple seconds and let you translate it. Y'all can have fun translating that because I don't feel like it. I can't read scribble scrabble. And uh, this is the structure my brother built. It's this cool, like, fancy slanted mangrove uh, brick house. It's a brick, burn down, out house, down, down, out. Yeah. He completely decorated this one. I had, like, little to no input. This was all him, from the house, to the block type, to everything. And I must say, he's a very good designer. I am very happy that I've put my Minecraft legacy into the hands of my brother. Yeah, that's good. And then there's my brother who adds the fucking Amogus here. <laughs> He's just like Amogus <laughs> uh, And um Here's the basement I, I was like yo you should add a basement You should add like a farm area and an outhouse And all that And I built some of that but yeah uh, He's the one who mainly designed it Honestly this looks like he's about to This looks like he's about to like, summon the fucking demon or something I summon thee Stolas I summon thee, Stolas from hell of a boss. Ah, yes. My brother doesn't know it, but I'm sure the viewers would, cause... Yeah, yeah, just pop an image of Stolas. Y'all are a bunch of dorky 14-year-olds, probably, or 20-year-olds, according to my demographic. Over here is, uh, the secret basement with the cool nether portal. And, uh, I su also suggested this. I'm like, yeah, why don't we add a secret basement? He's like, ooh, okay. And so I helped him design it, and he added a portal and stuff, and it was a lot of fun. It was really cool. And last, but not least, is my house. It's right here. This is a, like, super-duper desert temple, where it's, uh... I, I found it weird that you made a desert temple, and yet I'm the one that's into Egypt. I always loved desert temples, so I decided to make my house into, like, a super desert temple, where I decorated the side here with the letters B-E-O in the standard galactic alphabet. And, uh, I just, I, I went nuts. I was like, yeah, sure. Let's add, you know, anvil, blast furnace, stone cutter, grindstone, furnace. All the good stuff any survival world should have. Even a enchanting area and brewing area that I, like, never use. I'm not a big fan of those. I just always kind of forget them like an afterthought. But they're cool. And, uh, oh, can't forget about the upstairs area. I... Decorated that with this cool little, like, balcony area, and, um, ooh, I forget what this area is. Oh, fuck! Oh! We are not doing that! No, we are not doing it! No, fail, don't do it. Fail, 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 fail. Time to summon Hero Brian! Huzzah!